Hey everybody, it's Norm from Testin. I'm here at Maker Fair 2018. Now we've been here at this fair for over 10 years now, but we've never had a chance to chat with some of the members of the Bay Area Garden Railway Society. These are folks who build model trains, some of which are electric, some of which run on gas, and some of which actually are steam engines that run on coal, burning at 2,000 degrees. I think one of the engines is stopping right now for a coal stop or a water stop. So I'm going to chat with one of the builders or engineers about his engine. This engine is a real coal engine. It, it uh, unlike the others, it burns coal. The coal is uh, imported from Wales. That's the clean Welsh coal. Because that's the only coal that's, that's, burning, that's uh, clean enough to burn in these small engines. We've tried Colorado coal, we've tried New England coal, nothing works as well. Wow. Um, so for the club here, for the, the Bay Area Garden Railway Society, uh, members like you have tracks set up in your home, in your backyard? Generally, well, probably about half of us do. And uh, so that's where we run. We, we have our small gatherings probably uh, five or six times a year out where we live. And uh, and you're one of the members that has an actual coal steam engine, not electric, not butane, yeah, not as, gas. As I was telling you earlier, electric, electricity is a four-letter word for us. <laughs> we, we have to, we rely on the real thing, and this, this engine works like real engines do, the full-size ones. Um, now, I imagine the cars you can buy kits for, but for the actual coal engine, is this something you have to machine and scratch build yourself? There there are companies out, like this one is made by a different company. Uh, there are some others that you can see here. There, there are four or five companies that make live steam engines. Oh. I just choose to have fun with myself, so uh, by building models myself, I can take the pride and the ownership, you know. Of, Absolutely. Of having all this stuff. How long did it take for you to build this one? This one took me about two years. Two years. And two years. Is everything machine, or are there any off-the-shelf parts that you can use? There's a few, like the light and the, the stack and the generator. <laughs> and it's telling me I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, there's no engineer on it, right? So a real guess who's the engineer? You, you're the engineer. I'm the engineer. And the track you have here is is, is flat. Um, for a, a coal engine. How would you adjust it on the fly for elevation? Uh, you would have to open up the throttle or shut the throttle down. That's why the track, it likes dead flat. Mm, mm. The track that we run here is, is we've taken a great deal of care to make sure that it's, it's flat and, uh, and that way their engines can perform like it should because while several guys do have RC in their engines, yeah. You have to spend so much time around a coal engine that it's not worth your while to put radio control in an engine. Right. And as it's running, how long can you keep it running? I can, I've run this for two and a half hours without stopping on occasion. Wow. And I could run this all day. I mean, you do have to add oil occasionally to the steam cylinders here. But this engine works just like the real thing, where you have steam coming from the boiler, which causes the pistons to go back and forth adjusting for the valves that send the steam back and forth and that this engine works exactly like the prototypes do in the full size thing so that's amazing this what you hear popping off is a safety valve when i get up to about 60 pounds per, per square inch then it tells me that i'm ready to go all right so this engine's ready to go we're going to let it run on the track thank you so much rock for chatting You're welcome. With me. it's a pleasure welcome. to meet you Good to meet you too off we go